haven't done a completely spontaneous video in a while, like this one, I've put some effort into planning and editing and using music and clips and photographs and things like that because I like to. I like, you know, I'm, I find it uh, an expressive outlet, let's call it that. Uh, but something is going on right now as I'm sitting here that I thought might be interesting. I'll probably add some photographs and clips into this one as well. But uh, this is a totally impromptu, spontaneous uh, uh, video because, I don't know, I'm just finding this kind of interesting. So I did uh, a photo shoot a few days ago. My last video was, uh, was about that, uh, or a recent video. I don't even remember what I put up last. But yeah, I did a photo shoot with a cute young model named Cake who is uh, dating my girlfriend's son. And she's really a good model. And, and I probably took about 300 pictures because I've, you know, I'm not a novice photographer, but I've been doing it about two years and we have these electronic gizmos now that we could just take as many pictures as we like and eliminate all the bad ones and just use the good ones. Well, this, this uh, cake was such a good model that I didn't get very many bad pictures. Actually, many of them were really, really good. I don't know, I'll take a little credit for that myself. My photography skills are getting good as well, but she really was a good model. I found the value of working with a good model. So as I'm waiting through these pictures, this interesting thing is happening. I'll come across a picture and it will inspire, you know, other creative thoughts. Uh, one of the photographs uh, uh, that, that I, I, I took of her inspired an essay and I, I'm a writer as well. I haven't done any writing in quite a while and it inspired an essay about ghosts. <laughs> So I put it up on my writing site, Quora.com, and it's doing okay. I haven't even really been checking it, but uh, people are reading it. And, and, you know, so now I'm back going through these dozens of pictures of cake, you know, eliminating some, putting others aside, you know, and, and editing a few. And the same thing is happening. As I'm going through the photographs, I'm getting, you know, these creative ideas to do with the photographs. So here's what, uh, here's what this, uh, little video was about is that last night it rained like hell here in Bangkok. We had floods. I mean, Bangkok is a flood prone city and it's not the first time it's been flooded. Uh, in the six years that I've been here, I've seen other floods, but this is a particularly bad one. And, uh, you know, a little concerned because it looks like it might rain again tonight, which, uh, you know, given the amount of rain we had last night, it would cause floods again. So, uh, so there, you know, all over social media and the newspapers and the televisions, I'm resuming the television, I don't even watch TV, but you know, there's a lot of stories about the floods last night. So I'm going through my photographs of, of, uh, of cake. And, uh, this is an enlarged one. Let me go to the, uh, and this particular photograph, uh, it is kind of cute. And I thought, you know what, we could do something with that. Now, one of the things that I'm learning is Photoshop. Uh, as I said, I've been, I'm not really a novice photographer anymore, but I am a novice at Photoshop. I've only been using it a couple of weeks and it's a pretty uh, deep program, Photoshop and Lightroom and the Adobe software that you can really manipulate for, uh, photographs with. And I've been playing with it and I've been having fun with it and I'm beginning to learn it, right? So I took this particular photograph, it's set on a background. I you know, knew it was gonna be set up like that so I could use, you know, I could crop and edit it later. And uh, that's, you might, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there are these lines around her that uh, selected her image and I could take that image and put it onto uh, another background. So this is a background of a flooded Bangkok. It's actually a picture of the uh, wet market. The, well, wet market means wet food, but it's a, a river kind of market. And I superimposed her picture on that. But there's a problem with it in that the, uh, the this part of the photograph you could see here, uh, when, when when it was selected, uh, the, the white lines didn't go up and down here because she's holding on to the skirt. So it, it just outlined everything else kind of properly. So I have to uh, go in there. Uh, this is an enlarged version of this. This is the photograph. I've enlarged it on this, on this page. And I'm spending a whole lot of time trying to accurately, oops, accurately not drop my camera here that I'm shooting with. Let's uh, do it right here. You know, a day will come that I might be able to learn how to superimpose this onto the video itself. But for right now, I'll just take a video of it. So, okay. Here's the image of, you know, 
is the image of the model cake. I selected that image of the of the girl and put it onto the image of the flooded uh, flooded Bangkok. And I'm trying to adjust the image to, uh, to, to reflect this inappropriate color here. And uh, so I've blown it up and uh, you know, what you do is you, uh, you select the appropriate tool. I'm not gonna make this into a, into a Photoshop tutorial. I just wanna give you a brief show of what I've been doing here. And it's, if you look right here, I'm eliminating this inappropriate color, this, uh, this flesh color. And uh, by eliminating it pixel by pixel, well, actually six pixels is uh, I'm eliminating six pixels at a time. Behind it is, uh, is the water. So eventually I'll have gotten rid of all of this flesh color that I don't want. And the reason I'm showing it to you, I'm trying to relax into it as I talk here. This has become a very detailed kind of work that, I, that, that I'm doing. It's a, if anybody tells you working with Photoshop is not real art, they've never done it. This is as detailed as making any painting. I don't even know if you could see it, but little by little, I'm just outlining that. Now I'm not gonna bore you to death with this. I'll, show you the finished product. So I just finished the outline. So I'm gonna make the the, the, uh, the the point that I'm working with a little bit bigger so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So, you know, this this is how it works. It, it the, the, the image of Kate is on top and this removes those top side pixels. So you could see the water behind it. And I just thought I'd show you that. I, I find this stuff really uh, relaxing, rewarding, expressive. It's very detailed. Now, I'm not relaxing into it the way that I would if I were not making a video of it because I have to think about what I'm saying here. But I'm trying to do it at the same time, just kind of, ah. When that guy on TV years ago he used to paint birds and stuff, he had curly hair, I don't remember his name. He just seems so relaxed all the time. I feel pretty relaxed doing this. It's like, yeah, let's uh, put a little bird here. <laughs> That's paraphrasing the guy from the 70s TV show. There are no birds in this picture. And unless you're a Brit, then you might call her a bird. I think that's an old term too. I haven't heard that in a long time either, but Yeah, vlogs are supposed to be authentic uh, shows of what I'm doing in real life. I thought I'd make one that reflects that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon.